Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're on the playing server, we're taking a look at the various outposts, bases, and creations that the players have been building. Now the first thing I want to say is a lot has changed since the last video, and the big reason for this is the rocks that we had around the map, after a keen update, it started multiplying, and we ended up with something stupid like 4,900 rocks around the server, and they were causing a lot of frame rate drops, so we give everyone a care package, and we started out fresh once we'd fixed the issue. So let's start over here at the RTR outpost. Lovelyly disguised as a lovely peaceful coastal town, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes here. First off, we've got this a massive battle type ship that is in fact a giant rover. Pretty cool in design. We've got the beachfront here. We've got a little road that leads you along the beachfront with timer triggered lights. So when it does go night on the map, the lights activate. Pretty damn cool. They've of course got themselves a lovely lighthouse, that was the first thing they built, some nice little deck chairs, some strange things too, they've got themselves a little lifeguard station, you can see someone must be on duty, they've got themselves a crusty crab, not too sure why, but if we can pop in here, the, the whole gang's in here, and we've got this guy who gave me a right shock when I came through the door in spectator camera before, they've even got the crabby paddies there on the, the deck there as well, a weird creation, but pretty damn cool. Of course, we have the various different houses that they're all going to be living in. So, different RTR members have got different things stored in here. I think there's miners stored in different ones. We've got um, production stored behind this sort of facade. It's, it's like a really cool looking disguise. I think that's Storm's house. And we've also got the church tower there. Of course, it's always going to be set to 3 o'clock for some reason. I'm not, I'm not too sure why. Maybe they're like 3 o'clock. Cool. Or maybe the blocks only worked in that direction. And it's got a lovely like elf hat on the top. But really cool little outposts. And there's also some more weird things going on behind the scenes here. They've got these little drone type dart things. It's, it's a strange combination of a coastal town and this sci-fi type tech. They've of course got the Maritime Institute here with a big deck of different maps and stuff. It's, it's a really unusual build this one. And over here they've got their little trading hub through here where they've got various prices of what they're going to trade. Out front, of course, they've got their little oil rig with a little helicopter on the, the deck so they can mine out some ice. But a really interesting little base, this one. Let's continue on. We'll pop to the next grits. So on the entity list, we're going to head over to Arm and HOR. So HOR here have been working on this guy. And when I first saw this, I was like, wow, this is damn gorgeous. Of course, it looks like some sort of blimp slash carrier. It's got a lot yet to be constructed in. Looks like they're trying to install the engines and get this thing to fly. That's going to be a challenge in its own right. But when this thing starts flying around the battlefield, it will be damn scary, especially when it's launching fighters. Down on their little base, they've got themselves the standard printer, a few standard looking different ships. I'm not too sure what, what this is. It's got some weird landing gear type contraption legs. It looks, it looks very sci-fi s though, very cool indeed. Um, is there a little sign? Press F for gyroscope. Oh, and they've got themselves an AC-130 down here as well. This one is the arm one that was labelled on the list, but you can see it's quite a cool design. All in green, it's got the rocket pods on the side and it's got storage inside as well for transporting around. So a nice little base and outpost that they've got themselves here. What will they build next is my question. And will they finish that in time for the final event? Now, if we continue down the list, let's head over to KOL. Now, KOL have been hard at work once again. We can see even more of their little blue dart-like fighters here, so players can just jump in, whip them into the air and defend the outpost. Of course, they're all stacked together, so a bomb could take out them all. That's a bit of a risk there. Now, having a look around the base, they've got their standard-issue cargo pod that we give them after the restart. We give all the factions one. They've got themselves a little troop transport helicopter over there. Pretty cool. A rover. And this base is filled with propaganda. Now, if you just have a look down here, you can see how much propaganda is going on. They've also got this awesome-looking stealth fighter there. I'm not sure if it's complete just yet, but it's got two controllable Gatling guns on the bottom there, so it should be quite interesting to have a fight with it. Let's just have a quick glance around. We've got a few turrets and a really nice little facility hidden away in the mountain there, as well as a few rovers and a portable little printer they've got on the side. Let's keep working through the list. So next up, we actually have TIR. Let's check that out. So over to the TIR outpost. Lots of these different outposts we've been visiting as admins over time because they have issues and we need to fix them. But they're working on some sort of 
helicarrier type ship again. A lot of them are trying to do this, maybe to keep their ships mobile and refuel them on the go. They've got a lovely, massive landing way for some of their aircraft. You can see some of the planes look like they've been taxiing. That one's been shot up a little bit. They've got some little, maybe, dragging type aircrafts that they use to tow the vehicles, some helicopters. Let's check out what's in their hangars. So we've got fighters. That looks like one of Nano's fighters with these little wingtip bomb droplets underneath. There's a glider over the background that looks semi-completed. Coming into this one, we've got some more various different designs. A lot of players are not too sure what works with the plane blocks, so there's a lot of testing going on, uh, figuring out what the right design is. We've got like a helicopter and plane hangar here with some planes laid out, some nice TIR logoed ones. Quite sharp planes, and up in the ceiling there, you can see they've got them stored there as well. Very nice storage options. So they've got the standard issue survival crate there, and they've got an, one more hangar where they've got a glitter helicopter stored and their printer. So I'm guessing what that's what the P stands for in the hangar. We've got one, two. Oh, it's all numbered. Very efficient of them. Now, coming over to this section, it looks like they've got some more helicopters. I'm guessing these are sort of mining, welding helicopters. We've got one there. We've got one there as well. So weld up and build different ship designs. And then this leads into their bunker itself. That's inside the wall with all their lovely storage and whatnot. Let's continue on. We've seen TIR now. So now we've seen TIR, we're going to scroll down the list a little bit further and we're going to have a look at AAC. So having a look at AAC, this is a tiny outpost, but there's something I really want to show you. Let's look at the detailing that they've been working on this bomber. Look at that. You can see there's a little seat in there for the nose cone. You can fully move around inside, even though it is a little bit cramped in here. There's a vent onto the ladder to get yourself into the cockpit. They've got themselves remote control turrets, and the camouflage scheme is just awesome. Especially if this is a solo man's outpost, and he's been working on one big plane like that for an event. Hopefully he has some friends to man them turrets, but really cool all overall. Let's continue moving down the list. So we're next looking for, we've seen AAC, we're going to look for ARC. So ARC have been quite a big faction on this server, and in previous ones as well. So let's just give them a little bit of daylight. There we go. So you can see what they've been working on. We've got these really funky looking helicopters here. I'm not too sure what that is. It's got a gyroscopic pod on the top. Maybe it's something that tows their miner or moves these larger ships into the air to drop them so they can actually fly. This thing looks pretty damaged, but it looks like it's some sort of bomber. Not too sure. They've got a large helicopter up on the top there using the large grids. Great for lifting and moving ships around. A miner in this section and a large hangar bay that stretches to the back here with all their ships tucked in nicely and protected. So some good classic looking planes here. We've got a, a futuristic looking biplane design and whatnot. And the one with a load of air brakes down its back. Some really cool designs anyway from ARC. Let's uh, continue ourselves on. There's some defenses as well in the hills. I like the look of that. Let's move ourselves along though. So back to the end of the list. Back down, we have actually got CDN next up. So CDN, of course, a Canadian faction are out here in the dark in the lovely green countryside so let's turn our lights on and have a quick look at what's going on so they these guys have some interesting buildings as well they've got of course a burger clang because no base is complete without one they've got the survival pod over there they've got themselves these cool little canadian helicopters that are about there's some really detailed tiny builds on this server we've seen some of them um, rush Lowe's classic little vehicles as well there is i think there's two of them who are working in this faction but really nicely detailed off-road capable and this we've also got his truck there that you can use to transport various things down he's got a few spare tires in there must be losing them and they've got a little storage area with their printer in and their printer puller type vehicle very cool especially for a smaller faction and they've got a little defense turret there as well so let's continue on we've just had a look at cdn let's have a look at dbs now let's go to our entity list and find dbs there we go dbs are another one of the larger factions these guys like to play hard just like a lot of the other ones, they've got this cool sort of barn like location. They've got some weird ships though. They've got a giant goose. Nothing, you don't want to fight a giant goose with a Gatling gun rotor cannon. Really awesome. It looks like it's got a giant goose egg, golden goose egg <laughs> projector missile or something. They've got some more turrets. They've got themselves some little Russian looking helicopters. Really cool. And we've got these these things. What are these? Are these welder ships? Are these bombing ships? It looks like they weld something and then maybe drop it down. Could be some sort of bombing ship. But let's continue on. They've got the facility, of course, that leads underground where they're storing some more of their tech. 
down here we've got some more of these interesting looking planes now more and more players are running into the plane sort realm because the planes do have some advantages over the traditional ships and it's usually their speed in and out but you have to fly correctly with them to actually be able to have an advantage now in their main barn in the center we also have a flying pig that i've seen in some of the events that i think is actually really quite funny and and cool especially when you get taken out by a flying pig the welder is there and then they're inside their main barn facility and of course underneath here we have this giant void that leads down into a shaft and we have their secret storage sector just storage behind here nothing really that interesting we'll click through the door there you go you can see that they're producing refining doing all the stuff from below let's continue on so we've had a look at dbs i believe next on our list in the tour is fed so fed have been working hard the, the thing that i've noticed about fed is usually they burn themselves out quite early on working on a load of creations like you can see here and then they don't they're just not able to use them all in time for the final event so we've got a coffin based ship here being carried around awesome design there little characters there <laughs> We've got some helicopter type fighters with extra spare turrets. We've got the one that looks like a little bit like a spider bug. Then we've got a whole variety of planes down here in the fence space. All quite well protected. A printer. Good, a nice little picture of Conrad, of course, there, one of our server moderators. And they've got themselves some sort of helicopter connector drill ship here. Very nice indeed. Now, if I come out of Fed's base, Fed have also got a heli carrier. So you can see that this thing, just they just park the ships on the top of it. This is not fully loaded, I've been told. It apparently it's parked back from some sort of battle or conflict. But they can drop fighters down and really dish out some damage if they need to. They've also got some other weird creations around here. They've got some little turret-based box to defend themselves. They've got a little blue cube with turrets on. Just I think these are mainly maybe to defend themselves. Maybe this is a helicopter in a box some sort of protection for it in case it gets bombed or something they've got them a little little boat there that's i think it's a static grid but it's just a cool idea torpedo boat for a little turret platform nice little idea anyway let's continue on so we've had a look at fed we need to have a look at a solo player now who has been working extremely hard now this has all been built by one man and i think that is exciting to say just for the reason that a lot of players come on and go oh, i can't i can't i can't do anything without a whole faction behind me so this is murloc joe's base carved out by himself you can see he's got himself a little d vehicle a whole complete runway segment hangars he's got his giant off spray that he's worked hard to complete and he's only been building all this within about two weeks and it's, it's, we're halfway through the second one now so you can see he's got more fighters and bombers in here with suits and storage and equipment so he can man up and go out and fight. And he's got his massive tunnel shaft here with a complete refinery and storage system all built by himself. As well as a little defense platform there, so a real nice layout. And it shows you you can do it when you put your mind to it if you want to try and survive by yourself. Anyway, there's one more base I want to take a look at. So we're here at the final base, and this one belongs to NDA. They've got quite a few little cool things, as well as this red and black color scheme that I'm really quite digging. They've got this giant runway that stretches across the whole of this landing pad. You can see it's quite high up from the ground as well, so that's going to prevent some ground-type attacks and rover attacks as well. Over here in this building, we've got a little bit of a mini production facility, very industrial, and it's protected so that it can't get destroyed easily. That's really damn important. Of course, we've got a little mini hangar in the center here for either a little vehicle that could roam around the runway or a plane. Another little hangar with what looks to be like a warthog with a Gatling gun attached to the top. Pretty damn cool indeed. And they've got their fighters stored in this area. So these are like a, a tri-wing sort of design. We've got a wing at the top and this wing at the back there. They fly quite well, quite maneuverable but there is some vulnerabilities to these mainly the, the big propeller on the front there but you do have the ones on the top so if they do get shot out you can fly it like a helicopter over here i noticed they've got a ship that looks very familiar if you watch the orbiter series you would have seen the greg this is like a helicopter greg it's a little platform you can stand on and move around on so you can position it to build in areas like underneath especially useful if you don't have a jetpack now if we continue up here we've got ourselves these cool little helicopters that we saw in one of the previous battles they've got rotors in pretty much every direction they're pretty well armored as well so they can deliver a little bit of rocket firepower if needed as well as transport you around the base there's a few more of these helicopters i believe this is um, a mining one over in this section we'll just have a look at this cool place they've got like a watchtower 
area so you can guide planes in and see what's coming from up there above and inside you've actually got this really cool industrial armoured facility so if we just turn the lights on here storage production everything you need here easily laid out and easy to repair and i really like something like that over here we've got their care package of course everyone got one at the restart and they've got some of these little supporting towers around the perimeter to kind of deter fighters or attackers from afar that's very important indeed now i'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video we've seen a lot of different bases of course i couldn't cover them all there is smaller ones there is bases that just don't have too much going on at the moment and there's some that are still under construction but anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time